What's going on, everybody? Gonna start something a little bit different. I'm gonna try doing like more of a weekly vlog, minus like card shows and probably like the Com C thing where I go through it, uh, just to make it more of a, a longer video in a way, and just not like a whole quick shotgun. Here's all it is type deal. So hopefully you guys find it a little more interesting. Uh, maybe a little bit with the travels that I'm doing. I got a lot going on through the middle of June, so I figure weekly at least I can keep up with it and try to remember more <laughs> onto it. But, yeah, that, that's the idea on to it right now. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Plus, it lets me go back and look at, like, hey, how much was I slacking? So, I'm going to show you guys. I was getting stuff ready for Com C. They're coming to the Midwest Monster. So, um, I got to get these out of cases yet. But some hockey. Travis Hunter. I guess that's kind of one of the bigger cards. Numbered out of seven. This was a redemption from Leaf. It's actually numbered out of five. It does, like, 14 bucks. So, I mean, stuff like this all does well in Com C. And believe it or not, Leaf stuff sells like crazy on there. As long as you're priced fair, gone. Because if it, do it doesn't go from on Com C being sold through the Com C, it goes through them setting it up on eBay for me. So, happy with that. Hockey. I had Penguins in a 42 box break, which was long as crap. Um, just a bunch of numbered stuff. And then an auto there. Uh, Heredia Auto, I had the Phillies, I won. I guess Aiden Miller's the guy I wanted. And then some Revolution stuff. I don't know if I showed you guys the Amen Thompson Auto in a video or not, but Calvin Murphy Auto. Uh, some numbered stuff here as well. I think one of these was... Nope, I thought one was a Lava. Maybe I'm wrong. But pretty cool overall. Like I said, they're coming to pick up. So I'm getting stacks ready for them. Got a bunch of stuff to go through for them for two weeks. Let's see here. Up next, from Tops. They finally replaced all my redemptions. Even though when I asked for replacements, they were worth a lot more. They gave me a $35 Henry Davis uh, out of 150 Bowman's Best. Uh, not even a rookie card, I guess, auto. Guess you can't complain. At least I got something right. Uh, we'll put that with Com C. This was a pickup uh, one night, kind of a win. Rookies and stars. Everybody wants rookie quarterback stuff, so I got into it. I mean, I think it does like sixty bucks or something like that. But I think I won it for fourteen, so can't complain. I mean, there's always upside to it. Worst case scenario, throw it on eBay and hopefully I get my money back. The Com C pickups. They came in today. Uh, this here is really cool. It's a ticket stub. has Big Ben from his rookie year on it, but it's signed by Bill Cower. This one's numbered out of 75. I found the 150. I can't remember what it did. I want to say it did like 90 or $80 a while back. So I'm guessing this is a little bit more. I never see these come up. So really, really cool uh, pick up there. This is the card I forgot to grab last time. Uh, just a little tag, neck cord. They do like 50 bucks. But just cool. I love the neck cords. And this was more of the bigger one. Jalen Waddle NT booklet Nike swoosh numbered. I think this was out of two. If I remember right. Yeah, numbered out of two. Um, got a heck of a deal on this. The regular out uh, of 99s do 400. So uh, what I got this for was a complete steal, in my opinion, on there. Because what I th think and a couple other people think on value, it did really well. That's pretty much all. It's coming to mail. I know I have more stuff coming in. We'll probably do a little bit of sorting on one of these and stuff like that. Show you guys how I go through boxes I buy for either Value Box or Com C. I did pick up a new label maker. That's kind of exciting. So now I kind of look professional with my stuff now. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. It was really cheap. Compared, oh, what's up here? Um, I think that with a bunch of labels. Now, they do take AAA batteries. So, little brother um, thing. I think with all the labels I bought and batteries, I was at like $100 for the whole thing. So, pretty cool investment. I always wanted to get one. I didn't want the gun because I just hear they're painful to use and this here i just push the back and it cuts it right off and stuff i'm just making sure it don't fall where i stuck it up at but that's pretty much everything through this week you guys know there were crazy storms and stuff throughout last week so there wasn't a whole lot going on with me but uh 
maybe the next two nights we'll see if we can move a couple cards. Uh, trying to think. Saturday's the show in Louisville. And then the following week, I'll believe here Thursday for the show for the Monster. It's Friday and Saturday. So if you guys stop by in them shows, say hello as always. I'm bringing some crazy different things up there. Uh, trying to think. And that'll be pretty much it. I will not be in Lexington this month for June. Um, they'll be back in July. But that's pretty much it, so stay tuned. we got more, definitely, I know there's going to be more coming this video, because I should have some mail coming in. Um, if I don't get a whole lot of footage from the show, I may include that in here instead of its own video. We'll see how that works. But, alright guys, stay tuned. I'm sure there's more to this video. What's going on, everybody? We're continuing this video. Got into a little soccer break, and we'll just share what I hit here. This is GV Sports. Extreme. Nice one there. Congrats. So, George finally did. He pulled me a Holland. Would you know it's a redemption that's not for an auto? Only GV Sports. Just kidding. I don't know if he watches these videos or not, but really happy to hit something like that. Figured I'd share that. Um, it'll probably come in the mail. I know he only ships like once a week out because the volume he does and everything. But pretty cool. A Holland Bronze Idol. Alright, so it's Saturday. I got in from the J&J &J All-Star Card Show up in Louisville, Kentucky. I was going to take video. I even had the camera ready to go. Oops. forgot I was milling stuff. And the show is one week before the Midwest Monster, which is a huge 400 table show that he promotes. And over, I'd probably say half of the dealers didn't show up because they, they want to price their stuff out more accurately and everything else because you're putting some big money and big time into these big shows. So there wasn't a whole lot there. Um, there was a couple guys I was interested in stuff on, but I ended up picking up just one card. One. And it was really, really cool. Kevin Durant's. Let me see if I can get this to focus. It's his upper deck. Uh, this was upper deck black. Premier rookie. Numbered out of 99. Now it's still in his case because the guy that bought this originally had to get it through eBay um, verified. Uh, authenticity thing. So never seen one of these before, so kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie. Tamper proof. I, I tried playing around with it. You really can't pull these up too well and move on with it. But it's uh, oh, it's Upper Deck Premier. I thought it was Upper Deck Black for some reason. Well, anyhow, these here, it, it, there's the numbering, but um, couldn't really find anything on it except for one sale. He gave it to me ten bucks more than what he paid for it. I took it. Uh, wild stab at it and stuff like that. I'm probably going to take it out of this and put it in its own holder, but I mean, it's in really good shape. I wish I could get the edges and stuff here to focus. Hold on. Let me see if I go like this. It's doing it like no justice at all. Very minimal white there. Very minimum there. I mean... These marks here are on the one touch. I mean, just look at it. That's a nice card. I'm not saying it's a PSA 10 or 9. It's definitely a good 8. Maybe maybe they hook it up at a 9. I don't know. They are thicker, as you can see on the side here. Probably a 100-point card, roughly. But really cool uh, piece that I could find. You don't see a lot of these. You see the out of 49s doing like 12 to 1400 and stuff like that. Uh, those might have been great as eights, if I recall right. But really happy I got to pick this up today. Um, 
made the show well worth it. I was looking around, and I'm one of the people when you're overpriced on stuff, and it's not just one or two cards; it's every single one. Like a hundred, the cards average 150, and you want two and a quarter. I'm, I just don't have the energy anymore to, to sit there and play around with that stuff unless the person themselves admit that they're probably overpriced because they haven't updated pricing in X amount of time. So, yeah, sorry guys, there was not much more really to the show. Um, I, I was planning on doing the video and then when I found out the guys that were usually behind me were, and it was the guy that runs the show and his sister, I was like, whoa. Um... Did well on sales, a lot out of the value boxes, sold one, two, no, two, three hockey cards, it's something else out of the showcase, they were all low end, I mean, there was nothing over $100 for a card, I'll tell you that. Um, I know a lot of people were either trying to conserve money to go up to the Midwest Monster, or they were trying to sell to go up there and dealers were being stingy on prices due to the fact we all know there's re big repackers coming up there david adams is bringing like three million to buy for their repack hit parade and i mean we'll see what happens we'll see what happens i may do a couple of live streams from the midwest monster on friday and saturday so if you see me pop up and i'm not answering i have it out there and you hear me um talking crap to people and stuff like that that's me on there <laughs> um i might not see the chat and stuff i'm thinking i'm gonna have to bring my ipad with me up there and just have it live uh i might just use my phone too i'm trying to debate which way i want to go with it right now but Stay tuned. Uh, there was there was only one package in the mail. I'd even pick it up. So we'll probably conclude this week's stuff here on Monday when I grab that stuff, and then uh, ooh, I gotta get the Com C video out too. So I'm gonna work on that. Forgot about that one. But stay tuned. There's definitely more footage after this. All right, guys. It is Monday, so we picked up mail. And there will be a second part of the Monday, because I'm just going to do it for separation of a PSA order. It's all vintage. It came in. But we'll go through some of this stuff here. This here, I want a box of that new Leaf. Everything's like a one-on-one, -on -one, two cards per box. I don't know. Leaf Metal, I guess it's called. But I hit Salvador Perez one-on-one -on -one and a Roddy Lott one-on-one. Kind of cool. Then we got Leaf Pop Century. I was in, I forget what it was, like a first letter first name thing help fill a break got got a ganter no idea i think he they said he was the rapper i can't remember now but it's numbered out of 15 and then the guy that played uh pinhead doug bradley pretty cool all this is soccer soccer i didn't even know i hit the pedri auto to be honest that's kind of nice i gotta see how much those go for uh phil foden's a lot of this stuff's just going to go to Com C Holland. Uh, Theo Hernandez. Not even going to try Leal. Diaz. Sala. Hota. As in Diego Hota is out of five. That's kind of nice. I don't know. Probably has to be worth a couple bucks, huh? Kozuka. Mason Mount. We all remember him from a while back. Martinelli and Jaime. Looks like Jamie, but I think they called him Jaime. Alrighty. Uh, this stuff here. I'll be going the monster. Pickups coming to mail. Altuve, clearly authentic. 2018 out of 75 auto. And then a Luminaries. I think I saw, yeah, out of 10. Altuve. All calm C. Pulled them all in for the show. 101, 2 2 Atwell, Nike swoosh. You guys get to see my two Crosby's. The one on the left here, the white, um, like kind of like see through looking to city, that's going to go get graded. These synergies are very, very hard to grade. So, two Crosby autos. Corbin Carroll Transcendent out of 10. Yeah, out of 10. It focuses. I don't like these other magnetics. Whoa. 
Spinneroonie there, huh? Duke Schneider cut auto from Diamond Icons out of four. And then finally a Nolan Ryan definitive auto out of 50. So that's everything that came in. Like I said, a lot of this is going to be going to the show. Probably once I look up Pedri, maybe them one ones I don't know. I don't know what everybody's going to be looking for, so I'm just going to bring it all with me. All right, stay tuned. I'll be right back with PSA. All right, we got the PSA. This was all vintage, sent back in January. So you guys remember how I picked this Stanley Cup up? It had the white line up here. Got a higher grade than I thought, a four. It's not worth a whole lot of money. This is just more for myself type deal. The Nolan Ryan <laughs> came back a two with an MK. So pretty much a PSA one, a stain or a mark. And I believe it's this. No, right here. Somebody wrote in the back. That's what it was. Um, I know ones, which is probably the equivalent to. We're doing a little over 100. I don't know what they are now, but still kind of cool piece. Mr. Bob Euchre, PSA 4 on the 65 tops. Wow, my camera just keeps on focusing, huh? Uh, 58 tops, Willie Mays, PSA 3. You can see the lines into it. We figured it might have been actually been a two, but I, at least I, from what I paid on grading and what I paid in the card, I'm up like 20 bucks once I sell it. The Mantle Hank Aaron. I'm going to show you. Remember this had the mark, like the scratch indention here? Came back a two. It's over a $100 card. I know that now. Four on this Mantle All Star. I think these are still doing around 200 I paid $40 for card. 59 tops, came back at 3. I think these are somewhere in a ballpark of 2, 300, 2. I haven't looked at a lot of this up. Uh, 69 tops, yellow name, came back at 3. Surprisingly, Cepeda, an 8. This last sale, I think, was 175 on this. Really, really nice to come back at 8. I mean, if it would have been centered right, a little bit better, I might have had a 10. And these, I paid $5 for these, Pat Riley. So first one came back a three. And the other one came back a four. Um, just stuff I figured I'd grade. It needed to be in castle, otherwise they're just going to be dinged up down the road anyhow. I don't think I'm going to make a whole lot on those. I'll be lucky to make five or ten bucks a piece after what I paid for the card and grading. But yeah, I wanted to share the vintage with you guys. Um, trying to think. I don't know if I'll have another video come out between now and probably the monster. Idea is I'll be back Saturday night until I unload, defuse. Uh, I'm going to try to get a video together from the monster. I, I It's still an idea going live for bits and pieces maybe of it, but I think I might just make it into more of a longer video. Uh, just for the fact that I know a lot of people don't like other, you know, being caught on camera to begin with and being live too. Yeah. But um, that'll be pretty much it. I do have some stuff coming to mail. I'll try to wrap into a video possibly uh, Thursday night. Maybe it'll play over the weekend or something. I'm not too sure yet. But this was kind of like my vlog throughout the week of stuff I've been doing. A lot of back and forth. Getting ready for the monster. Pricing all this stuff up. It's been a little hectic here and there, but we're pushing through, pushing through, getting ready for it all. But other than that, catch you guys next one.